Hi, I'm Cynthia Kahn, founder of Amuse Now, and I'm here today with indie author Jeff Martin. Hey, Jeff. Hi, Cynthia. How are you doing today? I'm doing fabulous. <laughs> Just want you to know that I absolutely love your blog, The Oak Wheel. Well, thank you. It's a, it's been a labor of love. <laughs> I love that it's a mixture of poetry, stories, random thoughts. You're just a wonderful writer. So tell us a little bit more about The Oak Wheel for those who may not know about it. Sure. It's uh, When I created The Oak Wheel, it, basically started uh, for uh, as a venue for me to go ahead and promote my own writing, poetry, short stories, and the like. But it quickly became an amalgam of other fiction authors that I've met through social media. And so today it kind of exists as almost like an online newspaper where um, people that I've connected with are able to put forward their poetry, short stories, essays, and articles and have them viewed by my audience. Where do you get the ideas for your posts? For my personal posts, I normally just kind of see what my whim and fancy is for the day. Um, when I write short stories, I often use writing prompts, either from Twitter or from um, a couple sites that I've found over the years. But uh, mostly I just kind of get up and see what I'm feeling for the day. <laughs> Much like Amuse Now, you also have guest authors. If other writers want to participate with the Oak Wheel, how will they get in touch with you? The easiest way to get in touch with me is through email at jeffmartin707 at gmail.com, or you can always go to the Oak Wheel's website, and uh, in the About Me section, there's a quick link where you can access my email. Well, you're currently working on two novels, a fantasy and a sci-fi thriller. Tell us about those projects. Sure. My fantasy work in progress is kind of my baby. It's, a, um, it's actually kind of based on the idea of the oak wheel. So without divulging too much, it's um, set in a, in a world that I created where it's, um, there are a group of gods and goddesses, kind of uh, Greek tragedy style, that rule over this world and they gamble on the fate of the world using a, a large wheel called the oak wheel. Um, and basically the series is going to be uh, the trials and tribulations of the people that actually have to deal with the repercussions of the gods and goddesses gambling. Uh, the sci-fi thriller is kind of a dystopian type of theme. Um, the basic gist is that a, uh, a calamitous event occurred on Earth that forced a group of, um, of astronauts to uh, orbit in low Earth orbit and stay there for over 10,000 years, and they, the captain goes nuts and decides that he wants to come back to the planet. <laughs> well, that one ought to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> when can we expect to buy our very own copies? Um, I'm going to have hopefully everything edited by the end of this year, and my I, I'm still debating whether I'm self-publishing or going to try the long query route. But uh, I'm hoping summer of 2015. For both books? For both books. Well, how did you get into writing? What's your background and training? Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say I have any formal training, but um, I'm an avid reader. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be read to from the moment I can remember anything. And um, I, as I grew up, I was a just a voracious reader. It was really what I loved to do. Instead of going out and playing, I would have rather been sitting inside and reading. So um, over the years, I, I really kept writing as I was in school. I've dabbled with college a little bit, but never been quite successful. But uh, I've always come back to writing as an outlet, um, you know, to get out my passions. Well, we met on Twitter, and in addition to writing a fabulous blog, how do you use social media to get the word out about your writing and your website? Uh, social media is really, I mean, it's kind of the godsend for all, un, you know, anyone that doesn't have a, a major way of getting, of getting their artistry out. So I use Twitter very heavily. I used to be pretty heavy into Facebook, but I, I personally noticed um, 
consumers shifting toward Twitter. So I definitely try to um, blast to people on a daily basis, not only what I'm doing, but what the authors that are uh, contributing to my blog are doing as well. I kind of do the same thing because <laughs> Facebook blocks a lot of your reach. So unless you want to pay, and then you're not sure who you're reaching. So exactly, and yeah, it, my, what I say to people is, if you don't have a hundred dollar a month budget for Facebook, it, it's just really not what it was a year ago, unfortunately. Well, I agree, but to change the topic to a more happier one, <laughs> since I'm used now is about artists helping artists. What advice do you have for other writers who are trying to make a name for themselves? Because you must talk to a lot of them. I do, definitely. Um, not being a published writer yet, as uh, in, unless you count publishing yourself on a blog as publishing, but um, I think my biggest advice is just to write for yourself and then put that out there. I, I'm also a musician, and I spent most of um, my 20s uh, chasing a dream that I would be commercially successful as a musician, and my music was greatly affected by it. And in hindsight, one of the things I think I should have done was just write for myself. So as a writer, what I try to do is make sure that when I sit down at the keyboard, I'm putting forth a product that I want to read, not necessarily something that I think is going to be commercially successful. And though it seems counterintuitive, I think that that's the best way to get noticed. Actually, that's very good advice. Trying to copy a style or make a style that you think somebody wants to read isn't natural and isn't you. I had somebody once say, one of our Muse Now artists, that it's all about truth and be true to yourself. Well said, yeah. And it, it's, you know, promotion is one thing, but people notice when you're passionate about something. And to, to, to get mired down in oh, is someone going to like this? If you don't like it, then probably no one else will. So start with yourself and go from there. Well, sage advice. <laughs> well, Jeff, I had a fabulous time talking with you today and getting to know you. Thank you. I've had a great time as well. I really appreciate this opportunity to be on Amuse now. Well, I wish you all good things, and I cannot wait to read the book about people being on space for 10,000 years and going crazy. <laughs> it should be a, a very good read. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> we'll have a fabulous rest of your day. Thanks. You as well, Cynthia. Hi, I'm Cynthia Kahn, founder of Amuse Now. This featured artist presentation has been brought to you by Amuse Now Entertainment, a website that enables artists to profit from their creativity. To learn more about Amuse Now, visit us at www.amusednow.com or email me at ccon at amusenow.com.